Hey everybody, uh, Carl Schuf here from Snorkel.tv and today we're just going to be exploring why does Flash create things like tween 1 and tween 2? Why are there sometimes these mystery symbols in my library? Let's take a look at a file right here and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Tween 1 and tween 2. Flash will create a symbol if you try to perform an animation like a classic tween on something that isn't a symbol. And so you're left with these horribly named symbols that make your life very, very miserable. So what we're going to do is show you how this happens, why it happens, and how to avoid it. So let's go to a new file. Notice that as of right now, I have no symbols in this library. We got a clean slate. We got a layered blank keyframe, nothing at all. So let's start off by just creating a very simple shape like a square. All right. There we go. And let's say that, you know, project manager comes to you and says, Carl, the client wants this box moving across the stage. I need it by end of day. Can you do it? Yeah, yeah, I can do it. Just, you know, I'm not the one who was with the client for a three hour lunch. Leave me alone. I'll get it done. So I want this square to move across the stage. I might just say, hey, you know what? All right, there we go. There it is. Frame 25, F6, add my keyframe. And then I'll take all this stuff, slide it over here, right click, create classic tween. And now I have my little square or box moving across the stage. I'll test my movie out and I'm good. Look at that. That took like two seconds. Cool animation, happy. And then all of a sudden, <gasps> what is this? Tween seven and tween eight. I surely didn't make those symbols. Well, guess who did? Our good buddy Flash said, you're an idiot, and you didn't make a symbol, yet you tried to tween something, so I'm going to do it for you. A few things are wrong with this. You know, who needs help when it's horrible help? That's what I don't get. And this is horrible help from Flash because A, it's forming a bad habit. B, it's making my life miserable because I have horribly named tweens in my library and also because it's using two symbols to accomplish one task. Um, right now, in frame number one, I have something called tween seven. That's the first stupid thing I created. And in frame 25, it's a totally different symbol with a new, totally different name. So this causes the problem of when I wanna update something in Flash, I now have to do it in two places. My wonderful project manager might say, Carl, they don't like the color, make it red. Fine. Double click on the symbol to edit it, which you normally would do. You select the shape and change the color to red. Who couldn't like that? Go back to scene one. Yes, we have a red square moving now, or so we think. Go to frame number 25 and voila, our red square now turns blue. Well, we only edited tween seven. This thing here is tween eight. A totally different symbol. Two different symbols. <sighs> Sorry. Um, so, dumb, dumb, dumb. We never want this to happen. Um, the whole point of Flash is that when you edit a symbol, it should edit all instances of that symbol. So now I got two symbols with bad names and it's making my life miserable. Another way this might happen is, you know, again, probably careless on your hat behalf and Flash thinks it's helping you. Let's make a new layer and let's just trash what we have here. So tween seven and tween eight. Another thing you're gonna do is this. You may think you're doing it right. You'll draw your square and then you're gonna say, all right, I'm gonna make a symbol this time. So you take your square and you say modify, convert to symbol and you're gonna call it box. All right, give it a great name, hit okay. Go to frame 25, again F6, there's my last keyframe. Let's take my box and move it over here. Okay, right click, create classic tween. Yes, I know I had a box and now it's moving back and forth. What the heck was that? Oh. Ah! Ah! What the heck is this? Tween 10 and tween 9. Why did Flash create these two different symbols? The animation looks ugh, horrible, I guess I should say. Um, 
let's test one more time. Eh, sucks. All right. Well, what happened was this. Here, notice how when I'm selecting the red square, it's selecting something a little bit more than the red square. Well, this is such a common mistake. Let's go to my stage background color and change it. Aha! So now you'll see that that stroke got left behind. In frame number one, the square and the stroke are sort of in the same place. Well, again, this was my error, but Flash didn't make anything any easier for me. It should have just said, hey jerk, you can't do what you're trying to do. But instead, it makes two different symbols for me. So here, when I created my first symbol, my box, I just selected that shape. But back in scene one, when I went to make my tween, it said, hey, you have a box and a stroke. So it created this dumb symbol called tween nine. Great name. I love it. So it's beautiful. Let's double click on it, and you'll see that tween nine contains my original box and the stroke. So my problem here was that when I created my symbol, I only selected the shape. And I made a movie clip out of it, and then when I went to do the tween, Flash said, hey jerk, you have a box and a stroke on the same layer, and we're going to make two new symbols for you, don't worry about it, all is fine. But again, not so good. So now I got all these silly tweens here. So really, the trick is, A, we have to be more careful when we're doing our symbol creation. If I create a box with a stroke on it, I want to make sure that I don't just select the shape and then create my symbol. I want to make sure that I select both the stroke and the shape and now I can say convert to symbol. I'll call it great box. You see that? Great box. Hit OK. And now I have great box, which contains the red square and the stroke. And in frame 20, I can add my final keyframe, move the box over here, create my classic tween. And now everything is dandy. I don't need any of these symbols at all. Let's delete them. And I got a nice movie here. Now, let's say you get into the situation where, you know, tween 1 and tween 2 or tween 11 and tween 12 show up. What do you do? Um, usually I say just scrap the entire animation and do it over again. But there's a better way maybe. Let's delete this, and let's just get rid of the stroke option for a second. Let's say I make a square, and I'm hurrying, and I say, okay, it's only just a shape now, right? I didn't make a symbol yet, and I go to frame 20, add my keyframe, create classic tween, and there you go. Tween 11 and 12. Thank you very much, Flash. I'm so glad you made those symbols for me. Well, this is bad news, because now... In frame 20, I have tween 12, and in frame 1, whatever, I have tween 11. Now, if somebody says, make it a blue box, I have to change two symbols. Well, here what we're going to do is say, all right, I realize that tween 11 and tween 12 are here. Flash was trying to help me because I sort of forgot something. Well, what I would suggest you do is go to the first frame of your animation, figure out that it's tween 11, rename tween 11 to be red, okay? And then in frame 20, take that tween 12 that we have no use for and swap it for red. There's not going to be any visual change in your timeline, but now you're using a nicely named symbol. You don't need tween 12 anymore. And if you ever want to change the box's color or its shape or anything, you can edit one symbol called red, and we can say, you know what, let's make you a different red. How about that? Go to scene one, and now it's one symbol, always red. All right, hope you guys learned something. Again, if you ever see these tweens pop up, chances are you started doing something wrong, and then Flash just made it worse. So happy flashing. Take it easy. Later. How do I turn this thing off?